Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be doing a bit of an interview with our art director Mikhail Mamashev. He recently completed the next installment to our key visual series and we thought me asking a few questions from a non-artist's perspective would give you all some insight into his process. And you can take a look at the piece itself being created at the same time, so hope you will enjoy. Alright Mikhail, maybe a good place to start is the internal process of fairy tale distillery. How do you decide what needs to be done art-wise and how do you prioritize? Well, we do have a system of figuring out and agreeing on company goals at the beginning of each month. And based on these goals, every member deviates his own tasks and depending on how many people actually need me to finish my tasks in time, I can quite easily estimate the priority of what has to be done art-wise. And naturally, if time allows it, I really like to throw in some smaller tasks here and there just to keep my confidence level up and, of course, gain new perspectives on the bigger goals. Once you decide what you're doing for the day, how do you actually prepare yourself for doing your work? Mm, you see, I always make sure to have every external parameter set right. Like for instance, having enough light and a cleaned up desk, but being hydrated and having slept well is actually even more crucial. So basically, the preparation starts at least a day before and it is more about maintaining a comfortable environment than a real routine really. And beyond that, I try not to listen to music because mostly I find it distracting, to be honest. And sometimes, well, yeah, sometimes you need a certain level of noise or atmosphere, of course. It all depends on your tasks and mood. But what helps me really is having small breaks so that your eye gets a new look on things and you can meditate upon design decisions. And yes, aside from that, I, I just try to spend my spare time away from the computer. And what sort of software do you use for creating your pieces? I work with Adobe Photoshop CS6, mainly because I'm really comfortable with it and I keep figuring out new techniques all the time. So I'm quite busy with that program. What are some of the simple stages that your work goes through? Do you stop and review to consider what you're doing or do you sort of just blast through to the finish and see what you've created? Yeah, to be honest, in the past, I really tended to rush through an image. And though this can be helpful when you have to meet a deadline, I actually prefer to have a rather structured approach to my work. Mainly because at a certain point in production, you cannot change your initial decisions effectively anymore. And therefore, I think it's vital to have thumbnails and variations, because only in a visual comparison you and your client you both will be able to tell which direction should be pursued. Um, to give you an example, like perspective, composition, color and value palettes, shape language, characters and poses and so on and so forth. These are all important aspects of an image and they all can be evaluated individually with smaller thumbnails and sketches before arranging them on a big canvas, so to speak. And this uh, divide and conquer technique gives you definitely some degree of security. But personally, it doesn't stop me from reviewing the image with a critical eye all the time, mainly because I do work with the team on this game and they have to like it as well. And their feedback is valuable and it gets me back on track once I'm off. And where do you draw inspiration from for your painting? Do you have a strong history that you use to guide your work or do you find new inspiration as you go along and apply it? Um, a strong force that guides my work is probably my taste. And this is rooted in my childhood experiences, I guess. But of course, you constantly evolve because every image has its own stumbling blocks and I like to analyze other artists' work just to find out how they have been tackling these problems. Um, beyond that, you basically can find inspiration anywhere, be it nature, all kinds of art-related or aesthetic things. And I use various painting techniques in order to generate ideas or happy accidents along the way. 
Is there other work that you've done that is similar to what we see in Dust Tal? Or is this a bit of a branching out for you? Yeah, it has been definitely a branch out. Because this is not your typical fantasy setting. It needed some months of trial and error to find the right approach to make it look fantasy based with a convincing degree of post apocalyptic, uh, without being too cliche, of course. And at the beginning, no one really knew what we wanted, but everyone knew what we didn't want. So this is quite often the case, isn't it? Was creating the art style challenging, or did you find it quite natural given your experience? Well, contrary to the design part, the art style itself came quite naturally, I have to say. It was mostly very straightforward, and I think this is due to the circumstance that I'm really, really interested in the mechanics of perception. And our lead programmer, Sebi, could translate my imagining quite well into the code. And what about your work outside of Das Tal? Have you seen it be affected by working on the project? Have you maybe seen a bit of a relationship forming? Yes, totally. It is unavoidable. I learned so many things by working on Das Tal, and all the techniques and insights definitely carried over to other projects and my personal work. From your own perspective as its creator, what do you feel the art style of Das Tal is really trying to convey? I think it is a great example what is doable with such a small team as we have. I mean, the feedback for the art style is predominantly positive and I think we have quite unique and contemporary looking visuals and they do work great with the game mechanics. And of course, it is also an homage to my infantile game experience and I really hope that it resonates with those who share the same taste. And this particular piece that you created recently, what is it actually depicting? In this particular case, it shows the cooperative and constructive mechanics of Dastal. People are building houses and they are necessary for survival by having the ability to store items, craft new weapons, new armor and yeah, upgrade your skills. It is part of a series that showcases certain core aspects of the game that players will be able to participate in. Alright, that is all I harassed Mikhail with. I hope you guys found it interesting. Personally, as I said, I'm not exactly an artistically gifted person, so I find the subject pretty uh, neat and I love talking to Mikhail about his work. Uh, you can view the whole key visual series on our website, as well as other media such as screenshots and some of our other videos. Another place you can see it all thrown together is our Steam page, which also has in-depth descriptions of the game itself. So head over there and you can vote for us on Steam Greenlight while you're there if you want to. No pressure. Um, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all again soon.